Hey guys, Ryan Cooper here from Van Cosplay Photography. Today I'm going to go over a really quick and simple tip that you can use to deal with images of different color depths when you're trying to composite them together. Take for example these two images. One is the beautiful Alley Cat cosplay and the other is of a background that I may want to put her in. The only problem was is I shot the one on the left with my D800 camera and it's beautifully deep with 16 bits of color and all kinds of detail. And on the right hand side I've got an image that I purchased off of Shutterstock which came to me as a JPEG and it's only 8 bits of color and it's very different. The problem is is if I bring Alley Cat Cosplay into that Shutterstock image like so, her colors get all messed up. Look at it. her skin is all gray looking and the armor is blue is very different. The reason for this is these two images have two different color depths. And that's really annoying. If I was to do it the other way around and bring the mountains into her image, they would get screwed up. And Photoshop really does a really crappy job of doing the conversion from one bit depth to another. This is annoying and I fought with it for many years before figuring out a really simple solution to the problem. So I'm going to delete this layer and I'm going to do the, the move over again. But before I move it over this time I'm going to go over to my layers panel and right click on the background layer of the Alley Cat image and I'm going to choose convert to smart object. It's going to think for a second, and once it's done, I can drag it now over into the mountain image, and voila, the colors are perfect. I'm not sure why this solves the problem. I'm not sure what being a smart object is makes it better for Photoshop to deal with, but now, all of a sudden, my colors are perfect, and I do not have to worry about this problem anymore. That's it. That's the simple tip. Hopefully, this helped you out. Uh, if you loved it, give the channel a subscribe. Regardless, I'll see you next time.